My name is John Ross with Finance on a Budget. In this video, you'll learn all about what the envelope system is and how you can make it work for you to help you rise up from the weight of your past debts. It won't be quick or easy, but it is possible. And using the envelope system will completely change the way that you think about your monthly bills. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and ring that bell notification. If you're anything like I was, you get paid from your job, and then you pay your weekly bills, often late. As a freelancer, it was hard to stay ahead, and this was mainly because I was doing it all wrong. I once tried using the envelope system, and it was wonderful, but without an actual budget, I failed. Remember, this is only one piece of that puzzle. Before you spread your wings and fly like the phoenix, you have to have the understanding of what the envelope budgeting system is all about. Basically, it helps you divide your income into different categories to give you a better understanding of how much you should spend on each section. The biggest problem I always had was having a lump sum in the bank. I may have $2,000 in there, but for what? I knew in the back of my mind that it was for rent and electricity due on the first of the month but I also knew I had some money left over for the weekend. So I would fill up my gas tank and enjoy the weekend. Come Monday, I would realize that I had just enough money to pay the bills. But of course, I would forget about the gas in my car, and now I was bouncing and getting one or two $35 bounce fees. This was constant. However, with the envelope system, you can avoid this type of careless behavior. Here's how it works. When you get paid, you go down to your bank and you take out all the money as cash. You then go home and divide up all of your costs into different bills, groceries, gas, pets, dining out, personal money, whatever. Again, having an actual budget will go a long way. Then, take those amounts of cash and literally place the money inside of an envelope. With such a visual and tactile system, you can then see exactly how much money you have left to spend on other things to keep yourself within your income limits at all times. Every time you reach into an envelope, the reality of how much cash is in there will hit you like a ton of bricks. You will no longer have an excuse where you say that you can't see where the money is going every month. I kid you not, my car was towed because I didn't pay the car taxes before they found me. If I had just put aside $25 a month, it never would have happened. And a budget mixed with an envelope system would have avoided it completely. In order to keep all my money safe, I put it inside of this fireproof envelope. I haven't personally set it on fire, but people on Amazon have. I'll leave a link in the description below. But basically, it's just a Velcro envelope. And then inside of here, I have a variety of other envelopes. And then each one of these envelopes has other smaller envelopes inside that I use to sort out all the money. I have a couple main white envelopes here, and then I have these large sticky notes that I wrapped around the individual money, and then I just keep reusing the sticky notes. It's really super easy to work this way. Inside of this white envelope, I have it labeled as savings, and then inside of here, I have all different kinds of money uh, set aside for taxes, moving, sales tax, clothing, emergency fund. Yeah, so I mean, when tax time comes around to pay for my car, I just grab this envelope and it's all the money that I need. I put aside uh, $50 a month for my wife and myself and with my budget, it's really easy to keep all the money safe, neat, organized. In case of a fire, I'm all set. Technically, in the case of a theft, I do have a problem. However, I put the money hidden somewhere in the house and no one's probably gonna find it especially when I have a big German Shepherd with big fang teeth snarling at them. They're probably not gonna have a lot of time to look for this. So I have money set aside for my rent. I have money set aside for loose credit card payments because you always gotta make sure to pay off your credit cards every month. Uh, I have another folder here for bills. You know, inside of here, I have a personal loan, a credit card, my wife's car, another loan, the gym money, my son's braces, and my son's karate. So when the first of the month rolls around and I have to pay my son's karate, here you go. I'm never late and I feel really good about myself. Additionally, as you can imagine, my wife and I don't fight about money anymore. In fact, we don't have anything to fight about anymore. So there you have it. You know, mix your envelopes and sub envelopes and put everything into a fireproof envelope and Put it somewhere. If you're thinking it's a little too harsh to restrict your cash flow in this way, then you're right. It's restricting you because you need to be restricted. 
The cash envelope system will only work if you have a clear monthly budget planned and it will force you to review how much money is coming in and how much is going out to help you stay on top of your finances successfully. After one year of doing this, I have the system working for me. In the last week of the month, I put money into all of my envelopes for the coming month. This includes the rent, which is an entire month ahead of schedule. Imagine doing that. It is so stress relieving. I have other videos that cover on what you can do to get that $4,000 lined up and ready to go. You only need to acquire it once, and the rest of the following months are easy because you're always making it long before you're looking for it. Put it into an envelope and forget about it until you need it. This next part starts talking about having an actual plan budget. The first thing you need to do is separate your bills that you've established by due dates from other fluid expenses. Other gurus fail to mention this part, and it's critical for your success. Personally, I have about 25 items that are due on very specific dates. I keep them together and sorted by actual date. This allows me to go week by week and not miss anything. Separately, I have variable items like groceries, pets, and haircuts, mainly because those can go onto a credit card collecting points, which is a separate video. But the key here is that you have the items with penalty attached missed dates on one side and open-ended dates on the other. The envelope system works best with variable expenses that you have a hard time controlling, such as food expenses every month. How do you currently handle your food budget? Do you plan out your meals or do you just buy whatever you get when you go to the grocery store? Having a literal envelope to limit your expenses will keep those cravings in check. After a year of tracking, our family of three does $1,200 a month. It doesn't really matter whether we eat in or moderately eat out. We always seem to hit that same number. So we spend $400 a month each on food. This is great to know because now I can plan for it every month. Please note, my wife is a chef who buys the best ingredients, so your own mileage will vary. Setting limits for every envelope category is the whole point of the system. You should have the discipline to limit these variable expenses and only take from the actual envelopes. This means not swiping from the groceries envelope when your entertainment envelope is running low. If you're heading out and you're not sure about your expenses, then you have a small miscellaneous envelope with you for any small expenses you might incur along the way. At the end of every month, keep a tally of your expenses in the back of your envelope. If you run out of money in a certain envelope, find other ways for making it instead of stealing it from different envelope. If your gas envelope is running low, think about carpooling instead or start limiting your trips here and there. Remember, the only way you're going to get more from your budget is to make more money. If you can't get it from your main job, then you need a side hustle. Another video, link below. In case you encounter a big emergency and you're left with no choice but to deplete through your envelope funds, talk it through with your partner or whoever is involved in your budget. You have to make a note of this emergency if you don't have an emergency fund and make up for it later when things have settled down. But seriously, have that $1,000 emergency fund. My own this year was spent on two veterinary bills and on car repairs. If you don't plan ahead for it, they will crush you every time. If you have any money left over from last month, good for you. Make sure you immediately transfer these into your emergency savings or use them to pay down any debt that you may have. Tackle the ones with the highest interest rate first. Eventually, you'll wake up one day and realize that you've paid down all of your debt, you're ahead of your monthly payments, and you're spending less than what your envelope budget limits you to. Now, if you find having an actual physical cash envelope is just too old school and unsafe, you can always go digital. I mean, worrying about walking around the neighborhood with an envelope full of cash is a valid concern. I just lost $300 when I was away on vacation. It happens. However, personally, I had $10,000 of cash in my envelopes before I moved it into stocks. But the goal here is that you have easy access to all of your one to three months worth of easy access funds before you put it somewhere else. There are a variety of different kinds of software that will allow you to keep your money in a lump sum in the bank while giving you the ability to manage the money on your computer or even your phone. You need a budget, every dollar, or Emma are three that spring to mind. You can find links to them in the description below. They kind of use virtual envelopes that help you determine different categories and figure out how your spending activities affect your overall income. It's a great way to automate your expenses each time a source of income comes in, which is pretty nifty, especially if you're tech savvy. However, the last section was from my assistant. 
While it might make sense to you, I still refuse to let anybody manage my money for me. To me, banks are banks and you are always going to get screwed. The other day, I went in my friend's YouTube channel that caters to rescue animals. Did the bank keep his nonprofit organization's money safe? Nope. Cash App managed to fraud $2,700 from them and the bank did nothing. Banks are evil. Don't give them your money. For reasons like this, despite online services having their value and leaving money in the bank is convenient, I know it's better to do it myself at one hour per week. At least then I'm in control of my own money dollar for dollar. By the way, don't forget to include your online purchases in the physical cash envelopes. No, you can't get away with hitting that add to cart button on a pair of shoes and leaving your clothing envelope untouched. The whole point of the system is to force you to abide by strict rules and train you to have accountability for every penny spent so you don't cheat. You'll only be hurting yourself. That said, I hope I was able to shed some light into how to make the envelope system work for you to your advantage when you're having a hard time controlling where your hard earned money goes each month. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification. Thanks for watching.